Hi there. Now for the first part A here, we've just got to find the vector AB where A has this position vector and B has this position vector. It's just simply a case of saying that A to B is a standard result. This you just go from the origin to the last letter O to B minus O to A. And if you're unsure of why that's so, it's just very simple. If you've got an origin here and you've got a vector going out to say A and another one going out to B say, then to go from A to B is to go down in the opposite sex way to O to A, so that's minus O to A, followed by, that's plus O to B, minus OA plus OB. Or you could just write it as plus OB minus OA. Either way though, at the end of the day, all we've got to do then is just take this vector, minus 1, 3, 8, and then subtract the vector O to A, which is minus 2, 4, 7. And if we do that, we end up with minus 1, minus, minus 2, which is 1, 3 minus 4, which is minus 1, and 8 minus 7, which is 1. Okay, so that's a to b. And then in part b, hence find a vector equation for the line L1. And you should be familiar with vector equations of lines. If not, do check this out on my tutorials. But essentially, if you've got a line, let's say it's L, then any point on the line from the origin is called R. That's the position vector of any point. And to get to any point on the line, what we do is we go to a known fixed point on the line, which we'll say is given by the position vector A. And from there, you go so many units of a vector parallel to the line. Let's say we call it B. So the general equation for a straight line in vectors is R equals A plus any amount, which I'll call lambda, in the direction of a vector parallel to the line. And so there's several answers to this that we can have. I'll give you just two of the common ones, and they're going to be that R equals, and for a point on the line, we could take this point with this position vector. So you could say R equals minus 2, 4, 7, plus lambda. It doesn't have to be lambda. It can be any variable scalar. You could label it S, T, whatever. I'm just going to call it lambda, though. And I'm going to take, for a vector parallel to the line, the vector AB. OK, so we just have 1 minus 1, 1. So that's one possible answer. You could have the point B as being a point on the line that we use for this vector. So you could have R equals this position vector for B, minus 1, 3, 8. And then plus, could call it lambda again, or you could use another letter, say mu. OK, it's up to you. And then you could use the direction vector AB again, 1, minus 1, 1. And again, for the direction vector, you don't have to use 1 minus 1, 1. You could do the negative of this if you want. You could turn the vector in the reverse direction. Totally up to you, okay? So plenty of answers that should be suitable.